Climate change is real, but it's already having an impact. It's having an impact globally and will affect tourism in British Columbia, nationally, and around the world. We were all feeling climate change. I think one of our co-founders, Paul Nursey, remembers looking out and seeing dark clouds, not created by rain or participation, but actually from fires, and realizing that that was having an impact not only in our residents, but also in our tourism industry. Tourism is going to be affected in British Columbia in exactly the same way it is elsewhere in the world. First of all, as a result of extreme climate events, which include not only floods and droughts, but major fires. We're also going to be seeing some areas that our tourism destinations suffer serious damage in extreme weather events, as we've seen in the Caribbean, where some destinations have been virtually destroyed. We're also going to see disruptions in travel. We're going to see also the fact that uh, it'll be more expensive to travel to places that are disrupted more frequently. More money will be taken out of the economy as a result of extreme weather event disasters. There'll be less money for governments to spend in tourism promotion. And there could also be, finally, less money for uh, optional travel, the kind of travel on which uh, tourism depends. It's important to understand your emissions. <clears throat> In tourism especially, tourism industry is growing in Canada, it's growing in a lot of destinations, so you see a business increasing its carbon footprint regularly. So how do you start to say, how can I grow my business while also reducing my carbon footprint, and how do I measure that along the way? Eagle Wing Tours is they measure a per passenger carbon footprint. We in the past have uh, operated Scarab style vessels, smaller vessels, 12 and 26 passengers. Uh, so instead of filling up three boats of 12, 12 and 26 for 50, we can now put 50 onto this boat. Uh, we launched this boat in 2015 and as a result of doing so, we saw our carbon footprint per passenger go considerably down. Every single part of our business is audited when it comes to emissions and they calculate how much we've done and they carbon offset our flights. They offset our flights, offset all the gas that we use in a year, even for our own personal vehicles to get to and from work. Um, anytime that something is shipped in for a boat even, even a part, we offset that as well. Offsets, we think of it as a way to feel better about our emissions, of course, that's how we all think about them. They're actually more of a financial tool. Carbon offsets help us cross the economic hurdles to get new clean technologies in place that are perhaps helping First Nations communities transfer from diesel to biofuel or solar. Like they're doing incredible projects that financially on their own, they can't stand. So that is why carbon offsets are so important. It creates the resources needed for these projects to happen. Back in 2010, the owners of this company just made a conscious decision that we were going to become carbon neutral, that we were going to be stewards of the environment, uh, that we were going to take some responsibility and, and should try to be an industry leader in that. My hope is that the tourism community will first of all see sustainability as a principal goal so that it can protect its own interests and protect our country and the landscapes that that tourism interest really essentially represents. More than that, however, I hope the tourism industry will see its potential in informing Canadians, educating visitors from abroad, and showing the way in terms of how sustainability will work in the changing hydroclimatic regimes we are experiencing now and will experience even more intensely in the future. Eagle Wing has done a lot of work to reduce its carbon footprint and to become carbon neutral. Eagle Wing, like many other tourism companies, understand the impact that they can have on the environment as well as on local communities. Tourism has an opportunity, clearly, to be a leader in environmental and social responsibility. I'm Rick Searle from Fisherman's Wharf.